Well, hey folks, um, I have another home improvement project today, uh, and it's what you see right in front of you here. So, this is actually, unlike the other, uh, the other vents, this one's actually a return. Um, let's see, it's actually, it's pretty small, there's actually two, uh, two vents feeding into here, well, three three vents. Uh, one of them doesn't seem to really work. The other two work pretty well, I have to say. Um, you know, I mean, you look at this thing, and you see the problem here. Uh, number one, this is a pretty small vent. Um, number two, for some reason, uh, they decided to use one with a, uh, with a dampener. You, you don't put dampeners on return. Um, and also you can see, like, they didn't, they apparently didn't bother to actually, like, this, this doesn't actually do anything. So it's just stuck in the semi-closed position. Um, I'm actually surprised at how well, uh, the, uh, air actually works up here, um, with it having a, you know, a partially blocked return. Um, which probably maybe means that I need to do some better insulating or something, but... Uh, so the plan, what I'm planning to do here, um, this is the vent that I took off of the, the office downstairs, uh, and replaced it with one with the dampener. Uh, so we're gonna kinda do the reverse of that here. We're gonna take this one without a dampener, um, place it on, place it on here, and remove this one with the dampener. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, uh. And you can also see the the one that they the one that they had in the office. They didn't really know what they were doing. Um, I don't know. I, I probably showed this in that video. It's it's been kind of a while. Um, but you can see they just kind of put screw holes everywhere, every single place. Um, so I'm probably gonna cover that up with some paint or some uh, uh, maybe some uh, um, some caulk or something. Uh, just to make it look a little bit nicer. Um, yeah, there's also some rust on the bottom, so it needs, it needs a good paint job, so I'll probably do that first, um, make this thing look a little bit nicer, then we'll, uh, we'll remove this, and we'll go ahead and we'll, uh, we'll attach this, uh, there, and it's, you know, uh, not, not a complicated, uh, project, but, uh, one that, you know, is probably worth doing. All right. Well, I'll catch you after the break. Adios. folks um so I'm, I'm sure as you saw in that time lapse uh i went around and uh caulked up all these holes all these ones here over there you got one there one over there there over there um it's caulked it up so that it's not it's not as noticeable let's see if you can tell uh yeah you're not gonna no one's no one's gonna be the wiser, right? And you can see there's a bunch of stuff on there. If you look closely, you're gonna notice it. Um, but uh, as is, um, I, it it looks fine. Um, yeah, if you're just walking by, you're not gonna notice it. Uh, so uh, I also painted it, as you can probably see. Um, that's why I still have it on this towel here because uh, I left it overnight and then I checked on it and some of the stuff that was on the the foil uh, hadn't dried yet because it kind of formed a seal. Um, by the way, if you have any uh, uh, helpful hints about um, what I should be laying things on as they dry, um, I'm just kind of going with foil. I can I can get things off of there relatively easy. It kind of gets a little bit stuck, but uh, you know I can lift it off, and um, that's kind of what I've been going with. So. Uh, you know, if it was something like a paper towel, if I laid it on a paper towel, um, you know, it would just get stuck to it. So, uh, foil, I, that's what I've been using. It seems to work. Um, so the next step here, I'm not going to take very long, but 
Uh, I have to remove this vent um, and install this one. I think I have it in the correct orientation, right? So we go like this. The uh, the uh, the outputs are above uh, this vent. You can see it's all the way on the floor. Um, so I I, I want to have it um, the the fins facing so that the air can just flow into it. Um, yeah. Uh, and I haven't decided. These are a couple of the screws that I that I got out of this thing. You know, I have these what, four or five screws that are stuck in this thing. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna go with those screws uh, or if I'm going to um, reuse these ones. Um, so we'll see. Whichever is longer, I'll go with. Whichever has a better threading, I'll, I'll go with. Um, uh, but yeah, I mean, I, I'm, I'm kind of. And of course, maybe not going with those. They needed four of them to keep it on the wall. And probably doesn't work very well. Or maybe they should have just gotten some drywall screws. <laughs> I, 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 I don't know why you would continually uh, install more and more screws and not think, oh, geez, I just need a drywall screw. Um, all right. Uh, all right, so I'll, uh, I'll catch you after the, uh, after the time lapse. Well, folks, there it is. Uh, we got it installed. Um, as you can see, I actually, I was going to install it so that the vents faced up. Uh, I decided against that because you could actually see right through the vents. If you have it, if you have it facing upwards, it's right through the vents and you can see that the hole is significantly smaller than uh, the vents. Uh, you can't really see it there. Maybe you can. Yeah, you can see it significant space there um all right well uh let's see this one's even popping off a little bit the, the problem is that i don't know what they did here um to try to i guess maybe they overcut or something and then added a drywall patch there but this this is like sticking out this part is sticking out significantly so it's never gonna be it's never gonna be flush against the wall i might try to screw this in a little bit more let's see if we can get that like that um but uh but yeah i think that that's i think that that's uh it's all we can do folks um i think it's not bad yeah got done what i wanted to get done all right well i hope you enjoyed that um adios